Barely two days after the blast along Moy Avenue, a group of armed men crossed the border from Somalia and attacked 13 Kenyan police officers patrolling Liboy town. We have no doubt at all, and I can like to confirm that that was an attempt by the Al-Shabaab. The attack comes as the Kenyan Defense Force, now part of the African Union's mission in Somalia, Amisam, killed 14 members of the Al-Shabaab in battle near Kismayu. Four of the 13 security officers who engaged the so-called militiamen in a gun battle were seriously injured. It is said that during the exchange of fire, two of the militiamen were killed. However, the Kenya police in northeastern could not retrieve the bodies. We are not going to succumb to criminals who want to destroy this country. Those who are intent of killing people, Naming people, destroying the economy of this country. That, I want to assure Kenyans, that the government will do everything possible to actually undermine the Al-Shabaab. Liboy has been relatively calm since the Kenya Defense Force began its offensive against the Al-Shabaab late last year. This fresh wave of attacks raised major concerns about the security of this country. The Kenyan government has decided to seek help from the Americans in a bid to combat the state of insecurity. It's certainly a partnership that is very strong and uh, we are listened very closely to what we get from Ulinzi House and we work together to see how we can work together. The attacks come as the Chief of Defense Forces Julius Karangi said that the Kenya Defense Force will secure Kismayu by August. Kismayu Port is a strategic area for the Al-Shabaab militia. Catherine Omwando, KTN Prime.